will learn the three basic logical connectives, truth tables, tautologies and contradictions, and logical equivalence. Basic logical connectives are conjunction, disjunction, and negation. The conjunction logical connective can easily be interpreted as an AND. For example, if there are two propositional statements, P, say, Sam is tall, and Q, say, Sam is smart, then what is P and Q? It is Sam is tall and smart. Now the second logical connective or disjunction can easily be interpreted as an OR. What is P or Q in this case? It is Sam is tall or smart. Now we need to understand that for P and Q to occur, it is extremely necessary by that, that both P is true as well as Q is true. That is, Sam should be both tall and smart. However, for P or Q to occur, either Sam can be tall or he can be smart or he can be both tall and smart. So, the disjunction connective basically can be broken down into three parts which is first statement is true or second statement is true or both are true. In that case we can use the disjunctive connective. Now what is negation? Negation in simple English is basically writing the negative form of a statement. For example, in our example, what is the negation of the statement P? Denoted as negative of P, it is Sam is not tall or in other words, Sam is short. We can also have the negation of the previous statement that we had, that is negation of P and Q. What is the negation of P and Q? Sam is neither tall nor smart. So this way we have learned the three basic logical connectives. Now we move on to truth tables. What we need to understand is that every propositional sentence has either a truth value or a false value. For example, let us again consider Sam is tall. If it so happens that Sam is indeed tall, then the truth value of the statement is true. If he is short, then the truth value of this statement is false. Similarly, every propositional statement has a truth value which can be either true or false. With the help of these truth values, we can make the truth tables. In truth tables, the basic truth table is that we write the propositional statement here, say P, P or Q, P and Q, whatever we are asked to find, and we assign truth values to it. That is true, false, false, true, whatever be the truth value that we are given. Let us consider an example. Let's again consider these two statements. Sam is tall and Sam is smart. What will be the truth value of these two statements together? Not, not singly. If we are considering them 
as two single statements then the truth value is true false and true false for both these statements separately but we are if we are considering them together then what are the possible truth values that we can assign them it is both of them can be true together one can be true the other false which can happen in two ways or both are false together that is sam is tall and smart sam is tall but he is not smart sam is not tall but he is smart sam is neither tall and uh, nor smart so these are the truth values that these two statements can be assigned together now suppose we have to find the truth value of the statement p and q for p and q to be true it is necessary that both these statements are true together here we see that p is true and so is q thus p and q are also true in this case p is true but q is false thus our statement p and q becomes false in this case similarly it is false here and obviously it is false here as well because none of the statements are true thus we see that for the conjunctive logical connective to be true it is necessary that both the statements that make up the conjunctive statement should be true otherwise in all other cases it is false now if we are to consider consider the truth value of p or q remember that we had learned that for p or q to be true it is what what is necessary is that either one of the statements should be true or both of them should be true together so in the first case both of them are true together hence p or q is true here p is true but q is false however only one statement's truth value should be true is necessary so again this is true similarly here q is true so this is true as well but here both of them are false so p or q cannot be true so it is false now what is the negation of p just reverse the truth values and we get negation of p as f f t t now suppose we have to find the truth value of the statement not p or q that is we need to consider these values as well as these values so we see t and f so the disjunctive logical logical connectives condition is satisfied because one of them is true so not p or q is true in the first case in the second case both of them are false so obviously the condition is not satisfied and it is false again here both of them are true together so not p or q is also true and in the fourth case this is false but this is true so again this is satisfied and we get a true value here so this is how we make truth tables we can have truth tables for a variety of logical connectives and now we move on to tautologies and contradictions what is a tautology A tautology is a propositional statement whose truth value is true irrespective of the truth value of its components. For example, let us consider a statement P. The two truth values of P are either true or false. Now, let us consider negation of P. What is negation of P? It is false and true. Now, if we are to find not P or P, what is the truth value of this statement? it is true true so we say that this statement not p or p is a tautology because its truth value is always true irrespective of the truth value of its components you see that so here we have a tautology it means the truth value of a co contradiction is always false no matter what be the truth value of its components for example negation of p and p what is the truth value of this for the first one it's false and for the second one also it is false hence its truth value is always false no matter what be the truth value of its components thus we see that it is a contradiction so these are contradictions and tautologies two statements are said to be logically equivalent if they always have the same truth value irrespective of the truth value of their components so what is the basic rule of identifying a logical equivalence always have 
the same truth value. Now this truth value can be true or false. Let us consider an example. Let's consider P, Q. Now P, Q can be true together, false together. T, F, F, T. What is P or Q? True together, so true. False together, so this will also be false. One of them is true, so it's true. Now, what is negation of P or Q? It is F, T, F, F. Just reversing the truth values. Now, if we have to find the negation of P, what is the negation of P? F, T, F, T. And negation of Q is F, T, T and F again. Now what is negation of P and negation of Q? It is, you see that there is a conjunctive sign here. So both of them are false together. So the conjunctive connective is not satisfied and it is false. Here both of them are true together so obviously not p and not q are also is also true here not p is false but not q is true thus they cannot be true together so again it is false and similarly it's false in this case as well now we see that the truth values of these two statements are same whatever be the truth values of the components these are the components whatever be the truth value of the components the truth values of these two statements are always the same. They are false together, true together and again false together in the last two cases. Thus we can say that negation of P or Q is logically equivalent to negation of P and negation of Q. Thus to prove logical equivalence we need to make the truth table and show that these two statements always have the same truth value no matter what be the truth value of their components. With this we come to an end of our today's uh, video. If you have any doubts then you can write them to me in the comment box and I'll surely reply to them. Thank you.